How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel where it's all about improving and becoming an awesome player. One mechanic that can make you better is the speed flip. In this video I'm going to go through an extremely detailed tutorial on the speed flip using directional air roll. I guarantee you won't find a more in-depth guide than this. If you do, you can hit the dislike button but if you don't then you'll have to hit that subscribe button. I've already done a tutorial on the speed flip using normal air roll and I received a ton of positive feedback. You guys loved that video but I had people asking me to do a tutorial with directional air roll and I listened to the people so this is for you. You won't need to go watch my previous video as this tutorial will cover absolutely everything unless you want to learn how to do it with normal air roll then the link will be in the description. I do find this method a little bit easier as you don't need as much stick movement. First I'll start off with how to do the speed flip then I'll go over the mistakes people make. And if you're serious about learning the speed flip, it's really important that you pay attention to every detail I'm going to mention throughout this video. I've had people watch the last video, then show me their attempts and they were making the exact same mistakes I mentioned in the video. So make sure you watch carefully and watch to the end. First, you need to be able to flip cancel, which is simple. Do a front flip, then instantly push the analog stick straight down. This has to be instant. When you're doing the speed flip and you don't pull down fast enough, you'll do kind of a front flip and land pointing to the side. Also, you can only cancel front and backwards. So when cancelling flips, the only direction you should be pointing your stick is up or down. You can't cancel to the side. When you're diagonal flipping, you're not cancelling the diagonal flip, just the front flip portion. Hence why you still rotate sidewards. Now let's do a diagonal flip with directional air roll. I'm going to be using air roll right, which I have mapped to R1. Here are my camera and controller settings if you want to use them. I also have power slide and normal air roll mapped to L1. Boost is mapped to square. Scoreboard and reset shot are mapped to circle. Now this setup works for me, but it might not work for you. So be sure to test out different layouts until we find something that you like. To do the flip, first do a normal front flip then hold your directional air roll button before front flipping and you've got the perfect diagonal flip. Don't hold the button to the end of the flip as it messes up your landing. Now I want you to practice cancelling this flip. Drive a little bit forward then turn away from the direction you're air rolling. I'm using air roll right so I'm going to do a tiny left turn. And when I say tiny, I mean absolutely tiny. Look up my attempt here and how little I actually turn. After diagonal flipping, instantly push the analog stick straight down. Hold it down and let go just before you land. If you let go too early, you won't gain the momentum needed. Keep doing this over and over again until you get used to cancelling the flip. And also, don't forget to let go of your directional air roll button before you land. If your car is pointing to the side, then that means you're not flicking the stick down fast enough. You have to be super quick. The faster you pull down, the better your form will be. On the topic of quickness, you also need to be tapping the jump button as fast as you can. The speed flip is all about doing these controller movements as quick as possible. Once you're comfortable with this, then start adding boost. And now every time you land, hold the power slide button so you keep your momentum as you hit the ground. This might take you some time to learn as we just added two more buttons to the combination. But this is basically the speed flip done. And now we're going to perfect it in Musty's speed flip test. Make sure you familiarize yourself with the hand movement and pressing the buttons before moving on to the trading pack. Now it's time to go over the mistakes people make. It's important you watch every single one before attempting the speed flip as even one mistake can mess you up. First, I just want to mention controller dead zone. I have mine quite low. Some people say lowering the dead zone doesn't affect anything, but in my personal experience, my flips felt a little bit better. So you can try it if you'd like, but if you end up backflipping all the time, then turn the dead zone up a bit. Next, you're not letting the car fully land on the ground when you're resetting the shot. As you try this again and again, you'll become understandably impatient. You'll start boosting straight away, but it's vital you let the car rest as that half a second in the air can slow you down. Next mistake is driving to the side. You want to drive forward on the line towards the ball. Don't turn straight away as that means your momentum is going to the side instead of straight ahead. So drive forward before turning to jump. Next is turning too much before jumping. Like I mentioned earlier, you only need to turn a little bit. In some of my attempts, you can barely tell that I'm turning and you want your turn to be similar. 
Next is jumping too late. You want your jump to be around halfway off the first grass line you see. Not at the grass line, but halfway to it, right where the subscriber marker is. When someone joins the Discord and shows me their attempt, it's one of the first mistakes I notice, so make sure you get your jumping correct. The next mistake, and probably the biggest of them all, is to do with the flip cancel itself. I see a lot of people that don't cancel fast enough. If you're doing everything else right and still not getting it, then you might not be flicking down as quick as you think. Also, you need to make sure you hold down long enough and let go just before you land so you can correct your car. Finally, the last mistake is not holding power slide when landing. Holding power slide is vital to keep your momentum in case your car lands a tiny bit off. Since I have normal aero and power slide both mapped to L1, I can crack my car and hold power slide with one button, which makes landing easy for me. If you're doing the first part correct, but your landing is messing up, you could either be letting go of your directional aero button too early or letting go of it too late. And you have to be careful not to press your normal aero button too early as that also can mess your car up. I'm going to walk you through exactly what buttons to press using a big controller overlay. To start off, I'm holding R2 to drive forward and square to boost. I'm also holding R1, which is my air roll right button. You can hold this at the start as it only affects your car in the air. Then I turn and double tap X to flip. If you're struggling with doing the stick movement, then you can also hold the stick forward as soon as you start and shift it slightly to the side to turn, then instantly flick down. After jumping, I'm holding down on the stick still pressing R1, R2 and square. As I'm about to land, I let go of R1 to stop rotating and I hold L1, which is normal air roll, to correct my car and power slide as I touch the ground. The speed flip is a really hard mechanic and takes time to learn, so don't expect to do it straight away. As you practice, you'll get better at doing the hand movement and you'll see little improvements over time. If you want feedback on your speed flip or any other mechanic, then you can join our Discord and post your attempts there. The link will be in the description. If you find this video helpful, then hit the like button as it takes a lot of time to put these videos together. Consider subscribing if you're looking to improve on Rocket League. I upload tutorials and tips videos weekly, so make sure you don't miss out. If you're still here, I appreciate all the support. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.